After living in a group home for a year, he became one of 49 children raised by a foster parent named Fanny Threat. That came after Morning faced an agonizing decision at age 11 whether to live with his mother or his father. I didn't know who I wanted to live with at the time. I chose to, uh, to not live with either one of them. And fortunately enough, I made the right decision. Um, and um, I ended up in, in Fanny Threat's arms. I don't know why I sort of pitied him for one thing, because he was so tall and awkward. I can imagine that people on the outside felt what I felt. You know, that, oh my word, how tall he is. The one thing that I had in my corner, I had Miss Street there providing that support for me, providing a, a positive family atmosphere for me. Where would you be today if not for Fanny Three? Man, who knows? I, you don't even want to imagine. I don't even want to imagine, to tell you the truth. Could have been bad? It, it probably could have been. Yes, it could have been. Ask Miss Street to tell us something about you uh, that perhaps we did not know. Alonzo is not, I repeat, he is not a mean person. <laughs> she told you that? Yeah, that's a front, man. man she, shouldn't, she shouldn't have told you that, man. That was the best kept secret, man. Everybody think I'm mean and intimidating, man. It's a front, man. <laughs> It's worked this long, man. Hey, it's gonna ruin uh, your image on the court. It's gonna ruin my image. You man. want Everybody this out? Think of, nah, man. Please, man. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, she. You know, she's right. I'm not, man. She told us that uh, when you were 17 or 18, mm -hmm. and you were receiving a an award from the city council mm -hmm. in Virginia, that your mother showed up. Right. Tell us. Tell us what happened. That was a while ago. What, what, I don't know what happened. What did she tell you happened? You really don't remember? She, she said you cried. Yeah, she told you that. Yeah, I did. Tell me why. Uh, when you know that, uh, that you got a lot of feelings for a person and, and you know things, you wanted things to be a certain way, you, you, all, you want things to be a certain way, but they can't be. I mean, I, I, mean, I wanted to see my mother and father together, you know? And I wanted, to, I wanted them to, so much to be a part of my growth. And her being there, I mean, just, it struck a chord, man. And, and I mean, I'm not ashamed to cry at all, man. And um, it, just, I just, it just started flowing. That was the night that uh, they learned to say I'm sorry to each other. And to me, that was the most wonderful thing in the world. Because of my experiences, I know that I'm going to try my damnness to try to make my marriage work and to be a part of my child's, my children's development. I know where they're coming from, and I know that if there weren't people around me that provided that hope for me that I needed at that time, then I wouldn't, like I said, I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking to you about this today. Alonzo.